so we want to talk about Poisson distribution. Um, Poisson, um, as you will see, uh, actually this is uh, related to the uh, limiting case of a binomial and also related to the exponential distribution. But the uh, easiest thing to consider is, uh, is a uh, number of independent events across a time period. So it's very similar to the idea of a binomial. So um, it's like, uh, is especially when n is large and p is very small. Okay, just like uh, a time period divided by n small part, right? So n, what the mean n is, is divided into very small time period. And part of p is uh, the experiment success rate uh, is very small. So it's still a discrete thing because, uh, so it's the material in one, and this is uh, uh, up to infinity, so it can be any integer, okay? So the approximation, I guess we said is a uh, binomial discipline n is large, p is small, so it can be written as uh, uh, e to the negative lambda and lambda to the power x and x exclamation mark the lambda is a parameter uh, later you will see this lambda is um, actually equal to its mean and its variance and uh, usually the useful way is to model as a rival of customers uh, because it's uh, the rival is more like independent event and also uh, it is a uh, n is large and p is small. But anyway, um, let's look at the graph, what it looks like. So uh, look at this red one. Uh, the mean is 2 and looks like this shape. And lambda become bigger. It looks like a little bit more like uh, uh, seems to uh, close to a bell shape. The example is uh, suppose number of customer uh, for a restaurant per hour follows a Poisson of mean 5. What is the probability exactly two customers arrive in next hour? So the mean is 5, so lambda is 5. Asking the x is equal to 2. So uh, it's 5 squared, okay? This is e to the negative 5 and 2 factorial. Okay, so that is uh, uh, 0 0.084. So now we want to show uh, proof mean and the variance, okay? So the expected x is um, summation of x times px, right? It's the weighted sum of the x. Uh, the weighting is the probability. Um, so we have um, some x from 0 to infinity because this x can be 0, 1 up to infinity, so x times this guy, okay? So here, again, x and x, x Factorial uh, cancel out and e to the like a lambda will be taken out. Okay, and then you can take the lambda out because lambda not with x, so that means it's lambda x minus one and x minus one. Again, we use the idea of uh, set y equal to x minus one, so this is y here, this is y, and because x from one to infinity and y will be zero from infinity. Okay, and then this guy. Okay, what is this guy? This guy is exactly the meaning of e to the lambda. Okay, so this is what e means. Okay, and cancel out, we have a lambda. Okay, the next is uh, we want to find the second moment. Okay, and it's not easy to find directly. One way to do it is to use this trick. Okay. Uh, this trick comes from linearity of uh, x, right? Because x better x squared is equal to x by x times one my x minus 1, okay? This minus x and this plus ex can cancel out. Why is uh, this is useful? So you now see x times x minus 1, okay? Will um, cancel out the x factorial, okay? And if you take this out, right, e to lambda and lambda x, right, uh, take out two of them, right, 
and remember x start from 0 and 1 doesn't really make a difference so you can start from 2 okay and again this is uh, e to the lambda right and cancel out means lambda square so that's why we have e x square equal to lambda square plus lambda okay now we can have variant x right will be equal to e x square minus e x square so then it's lambda square plus lambda minus lambda square so which is lambda